And then What's going on guys? So I just met up with my friend Nicole and I got my tea. And then as soon as we pulled up, sure enough, Christian messaged me and he's being released from work. That's two days in a row. Like I'm totally not complaining, but I would have loved to have had him on Easter and I would love to have him tomorrow because owner furniture is getting picked up. And then we're also getting our new mattress and box spring. So <laughs> it's like, I'd rather have him off tomorrow, but it's okay, I'm not complaining. Like I will take whatever days off of him I can get. <laughs> so um, he doesn't know this yet, but uh, we're here to pick him up. And he's gonna have to come with us to uh, the park because Mops is meeting up at the park. I already told Presley, so she's already looking forward to it. So he's just gonna have to suck it up and go for a couple hours to the park with us. Here he comes. Hey, handsome. Do you need a ride? Yes. Can I take you home? <laughs> <laughs> Two days in a row, man. I know. How awesome is that? There's bad news to it, too. Oh, great. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Let me get the red. We're going to wait to see some red. Do you want some purple? It's hot. It's hot. Good morning everyone. Today is April 20th. I am prepping our mattresses for the people to come pick up our loaner furniture. We were lucky they actually ended up extending our return date for another month. So these were actually due back last month. But as you guys know, settling in here in Italy has been super hard and it's common for a lot of people to either go into debt moving here or just struggle with adjusting to everything here. This has literally been like the hardest move, but we have our new mattresses that we just bought from the BX also being dropped off today. It is currently 7.09. I am just basically trying to make it as easy and smooth of a process as possible. I'm going to put the mattresses down and just make sure everything is nice and clean. We also have the coffee table and all that in the living room. It's already ready, polished, clean, dusted, all that good stuff. I know there is a cleaning fee of, Christian says it's like $30, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so here is our loner furniture that we had in the living room. So you guys know that we had this coffee table and then we had this, Not it's not a futon because it doesn't lay like flat or anything. It's just like a sofa. I'm just gonna sit here and wait, maybe do some editing. Um, I'm watching some YouTube right now. We're gonna open these double doors right here so that hopefully this move everything out process will be very smooth and easy. So going down this hall right here is where, that's Presley's room here. She's in there watching Pokemon and having breakfast. And then that is our bedroom. So. Um, we have both of the mattresses in there and I know you guys are probably thinking like why did you have both mattresses in there? Because yes, Presley still sleeps in our bedroom um, It's been a process. We have not been able to like get her to sleep in her own room yet So that's what we ended up doing We ended up just like putting her bed from the loaner like furniture in our room to make one huge bed and that worked out Okay, the bed that we're getting now if you guys don't know is a regular king size bed we had bought a cal king bed frame from someone that was pcsing out of here and then we go to the bx and long story short i'm just gonna like recap on what happened um we went to order our cal king mattress and box spring and they did not have any in stock and for those of you who are who are here know that 
it takes at least three months before you get something that you order from the BX. And we don't have three months. Like I told my husband, we could just sleep on an air mattress, but like who wants to do that? You know, like it's just, ugh, it's life, you guys. Um, Things could be a lot worse. So I'm not like super stressed about anything. I'm just kind of like going with the flow at this point. I'm just like, whatever happens, happens. But yeah, so we ended up getting a regular standard king uh, mattress and then they didn't have the same brand box springs in stock so we ended up getting a different brand which was a little bit more expensive so it was just a thing so um we did that uh so all of that is coming and going today and I'm just gonna be here at home waiting for it I'm gonna make some pozole today and edit some videos today do some cleaning catch up on some laundry do a lot of organizing we have I don't know if you guys have been noticing but in the background of my vlogs when you guys see my living room area we have three big boxes that are like overflowing with stuff that we are selling and donating um, and it's just been like a process going through everything that we stored in our, in our storage in Florida it's just like I can't believe the things that I kept. We tend to donate a lot of our stuff because um, to like the Airman's Attic or like the thrift store and stuff because that stuff goes back to our military families. And you know, I just rather do it that way because yeah, I mean, why not? You know, um, sometimes selling is just more of a hassle and a like, you know, burden on you. <laughs> um, and yeah, the extra cash is nice to go towards something, you know, new for yourself, for your house or whatever. But I'd rather just donate most of the time. A lot of my videos, I feel like, have been me just, like, rambling on to you guys about life and what is going on. I don't know if you guys like that or not. I don't know if you guys like when I just ramble to you guys or just, like, feel like we're just having a conversation, like, chit-chatting, like, a one-way conversation where, like, I talk to you guys about my entire life and my thoughts and what's going on. Um... Or if you are just like, I don't care. <laughs> fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Because I do put a lot of like helpful, like, you know, things in between my long rambling on of my life. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm going to make some coffee. Okay, guys, really quick update. I decided to go ahead and drag the mattresses out here. And then I did a wood polish on these again really quickly. Just to make sure there's absolutely no dust or any reason for them to like say we damaged or didn't return things clean. So here is the bed frame or box spring type thing for the mattresses um, that comes with the loaner furniture. So in case you're wondering what the loaner furniture beds kind of look like, this is what they look like. I open up the window, get some fresh air in here. Um, I'm gonna go in through here with the vacuum one more time and then I'm just gonna chill. I honestly did this only because I don't know what's gonna come first. I don't know if the people who are taking the loaner furniture are gonna come first or if our new mattresses are gonna be coming first. So to make things easier, I kinda just like was like, okay, let me at least take the mattresses out there and the new ones can be like put up against the wall until these are like taken out if mattresses come before the loaner furniture people. But yeah, so this little one, Wants to say hi. Say hi, people. Good morning. I see all the cats in the neighborhood, and I'm just like, they're all so cute and friendly, and a meatball just wants to be out there with them. I don't know. I was telling my husband because I was talking to him. By the way, he just called me and told me that um, his important thing that he had going on today got rescheduled to tomorrow. So today technically is like his day off. His days off, you guys, are all messed up. I don't know if I got to telling you guys or not, but... So he was released two days in a row and I was like, Ooh, I'm so happy, you know, but I was like, he gets in the car and he's like, Oh, I have bad news. And I'm like, of course it's like too good to be true. Right? So I don't know when his actual days off are going to be, or if he's even going to get days off now. Um, cause he's been getting like sent home and stuff. Um, so I, I don't know guys, but he right now is getting me coffee because all three of our water jugs are empty <laughs> And I make uh, instant coffee. My friend sent me the Korean instant coffees. So that's what I make um, when I'm really tired and really want coffee. So um, I went to make myself some coffee and I was like, <gasps> we don't have any more water. So I sent him a picture and I was like super upset because I keep on putting those jugs in the car. And then like we keep taking them out because like life, you guys, things just keep popping up and happening to where like I'll make plans. And then he's like, 
okay, come get me. Or, okay, we have to go do this. Or I have to go do that, you know? And it's just been one thing after another. And, like, I'm just kind of rolling with it. Like, okay, whatever. Like, you know, but I need coffee this morning. I'm so tired. So he's getting some coffee. He's coming home. Thank goodness. Yeah. So that's pretty much all we're going to have today. Maybe I'll show you guys the mattress when we get it. Like I said, we did buy a king frame from somebody who was PCSing next week. So we lucked out on that. I just put like in search of and then, you know, put that we're looking for the king bed frame. So we are picking that up from somebody. It's a basic one. Um, they're selling it to us for 40 bucks. Pretty cheap. Um, and now we're going to have to sell our California king bed frame because obviously we can't use it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, come bearing coffee. Yes. It's fine? Yes. Same thing? Uh -huh. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mona furniture, taking it away. <laughs> what happened? <gasps> it's empty. Oh my goodness. It's empty. It's empty. All right, guys. Our mattress and box spring are here. Yay! That's huge. <laughs> How do you like it, hun? to the BX and get some sheets for this thing now. Ciao! Ciao! What's this one? Who's this? Oh. And then that one's probably from your dad? Oh, that, oh yeah, the priority white box. And then the other ones are... Oh, okay. <laughs> guys so we just got done washing our blankets on base and we're here in our town at our little pizzeria in our town and this pizza you guys is the bomb well, we got our pizza and the guy also handed me a beer for free he said <laughs> it's a local beer from they make it in Udine which is like an hour and a half away pretty much so Italian beer that's so nice it's pretty cool Oh my god, that is so cute! Oh, I think it's... Is it for you, hon? Oh, I love that. I think it is for you, Daddy. It's Italia number one. That's so cool. <laughs> That's for you, Daddy. <laughs> And I got even a strap. Oh, this is a jacket. The best. Yeah, we need to go out for a little. We got a big one. This one. I think this one's for mommy. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Look at the fur on the hood. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I super love it. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Look at the sides. Oh, that's so cute. It has zippers to put your hands into your pockets. Oh, I love this, dude. 
Thank you. Thank you. Say bye. Thank you, Grandpa. All right, you guys, I just got done. The drive was about an hour from home. The lady didn't speak really any English, like very little, but she was really nice. We did have somebody that um, kind of translated a little bit for me, like walked me over to get the EEG done and then she left. <laughs> and then the lady who did the EEG walked me over back to the lady to a different lady actually um to explain to me that my results will be emailed to me um so basically they put like that cap on and then they have these little metal i think like little pieces that connect to the cap they go all over your head and then she applied like this gel which is why my hair is kind of wet <laughs> and messed up the hubs is swinging around to pick me up i'm gonna hop in real quick okay so i'm in the car now and um so yeah, so they, they put that gel stuff like on my head, all over my head. <laughs> um, kind of moved the little metal attachments like around. And then um, she had me lay down. And then she had me open and close my eyes a couple of times um, throughout the whole, like I think 20 minutes is how long it was. And then um, she also had me do like a breathing where I would breathe in through my nose and breathe out for like three minutes and then open and close my eyes again. And then she put a flashing light in front of my eyes, but my eyes were like closed while that was going on. And then it would just like flash and yeah, um, it was pretty simple. I did kind of start to feel like I was gonna have a panic attack like here and there, like small ones, but I was trying to like breathe my breathe and talk myself out of it, trying to relax. Cause it should have been like a smooth, easy, relaxing thing but for whatever reason, I still end up having like my little anxiety like moments. Um, but yeah, it's uh, that's done. We'll see when I get my results. They will be emailed to me by tomorrow, so.